to show you guys how to install a NVIDIA uh, graphics driver. Um, the simplest way that I could do it, um, actually using the uh, GNOME interface, I was using Unity and decided to switch over to GNOME. It's a lot easier for me because, you know, you could use a lot of um, shortcut keys to actually get stuff done. Um, you can too in Unity, but I find it to be simpler in, in GNOME. But without further, further ado, further, <laughs> without further ado, um, as a matter of fact, here is the, um, the, the settings for the uh, driver. I already have it pre-installed in my system, obviously. Um, just to show you guys here before I get into it, the uh, vertical sync that is usually you know defaulted with that check I usually have that turned off because um, it minimizes screen tearing and stuff like that when you're actually playing video games or even watching high definition content on YouTube or whether you're watching content on Netflix or on Hulu it, it eliminates that actually uh, things run a lot smoother without that being implemented and um, yeah so let me minimize that um, when you actually go to the NVIDIA website here as you can see you could do like you typically do with the Windows drivers but instead of Windows I'm using Linux so I have to switch to the 64-bit Linux um, operating system uh, I have a 7 series NVIDIA graphics card and well I chose 32-bit uh, I'm actually using a 64-bit Linux Anyway, then you click on search, and then when the uh, download is completed, you could actually compile the uh, driver. This gives you the latest driver that NVIDIA has available, and uh, you could go ahead and do it that way. But that's for the more advanced user. Right now, I'm going to show you the uh, simplest way to actually get it installed. So what you do is you go to um, your software installer, your software updates and when this pops up you're gonna go over here to the far right where it says additional drivers and uh, you wait for the uh, system to locate whatever graphics card you're using and uh, it'll go online and search for the latest drivers whether it's for proprietary or the uh, open source drivers I'm actually using the open source driver the latest open source driver that they have available is the uh, NVIDIA 340 open source um, driver here um, after you get that you go ahead and click on this little circle here and it's gonna run through the process of doing the download and the install then you have to do a full restart um, that is pretty much it in a nutshell and just like I explained to you you know this uh, simple way to do it here and um, there's actually a third way that you could get the driver install you go to your um, what's it called the uh, synaptics package manager here and in the synaptics package manager you're gonna type in NVIDIA and in here as you can see here I click I ticked on the settings here and this right here will give you the um, XORG driver for the uh, NVIDIA but you know there was a few complications here so I rather to go through the uh, um, the previous way of doing it here with the um, software updates and get your driver installed this way this is the simplest way to do it um, the less stressful way to do it um, to be on the safe side though for all of those who um, are new to Linux and you don't want to have to go through the hassle of you know getting any having any problems you could install this driver here which is the uh, the 33189 driver the open source driver here is it's it's really really stable and when you're gaming or doing anything of that nature it, it, there's a lot more stability there but I opted to go for the the uh, the more upper tier version because I haven't you know uh, a brawny enough graphics card that I could handle 
you know what what takes place with the uh, open source drivers and the open the OpenGL engine. So without further ado, that's it. And uh, all your graphics acceleration and everything will be in place after you, after you actually do your restart. So yeah, just go ahead and do that and you should be good to go. Anyway, thank you for observing my video. Um, this is my second one. Hopefully, you know, my, you know, uploads will be getting better and better. I'm just, you know, flying by the seat of my pants doing these videos and learning as I go. So, bear with me. Things will hopefully get better. Thank you for viewing. Subscribe.